They haven't said what the cap is. They haven't explained to the millions of people who are desperately worried at the moment about what kind of care they're going to get in the future, desperately worried for children as well about how their parents are going to be looked after. This is a government in chaos and confusion. I'm not playing on anybody's fears. I'm expressing the fears that a lot of people have. And I suggest the Prime Minister, instead of blaming me, should look to herself and look to her team and look to the policy or lack of policy that she's put forward. This isn't strong and stable. This is chaos. Uh, well, it might be tough today, Jeremy Corbyn. We're just reading uh, that an ICM poll is showing the Conservative leader of Labour has narrowed to 14 points from 20 points just a week ago. And that poll, Faisal Islam, uh, will not reflect the big U-turn today. Uh, no, uh, indeed, it, one shouldn't take polls in isolation, but the general pattern since the manifesto has been pretty clear. Labour up about four or five percent. I don't think this happened in this poll, but in other polls, the Conservatives have been down four or five percent. Still a healthy lead of 10, 10-ish percent, 15 percent, I think, on, on the poll you just uh, read out. But there is no doubt that on the doorsteps, uh, as one sitting Labour MP put it to me, in a seat targeted by the Conservatives, where the Conservatives are very confident of taking that Yorkshire seat, uh, they said to me that it had gone down like a bucket of dog sick. Other Conservatives too say were very frustrated about how much uh, particularly older voters had raised this issue. Uh, these old, many older voters coming straight over from having voted for UKIP in 2015 uh, to offer their vote, at, at least at this stage, to the Conservatives uh, because of the prospect of Brexit negotiations. Labour voters in, in some of those Labour seats too. Uh, this uh, was a, seen as a lifeline for many of those uh, Labour and uh, Lib Dem uh, potential opposition MPs. So very interesting that this has come now. The timing is no coincidence. Postal votes are landing on the doormats of the United Kingdom. Postal votes are traditionally uh, more represented amongst the older community. And the net, the sum of these proposals were uh, causing some concern amongst uh, older population. It consisted of a small giveaway in terms of capping uh, how much people might pay and at uh, uh, £100,000 and making sure £100,000 could be passed on. But the big takeaway was including the family home if you had dom domiciliary care in the valuation of assets that could be used to repay that sum. That is what led to the opposition attack referring to this as a dementia tax because the amount of money that you would pay if it took years for your care to, to last, uh, that that would then be wrapped up and paid back potentially by your house out of your estate and you wouldn't be able to pass on the full value to your uh, children. Uh, now, what's changed is that originally you'd have had this dill not cap of £72,000 on care costs. No mention of that in the manifesto. In fact, it was explicitly rejected in the briefing documents around the manifesto. Uh, but now an absolute limit is promised, as you heard from the Prime Minister. What that does to the policy, I don't know. I mean, that seems to me to be a, a cost of billions. It was also the whole point of not having a cap was to develop a private insurance market. Uh, and it certainly did seem like a whacking great U-turn, but this is how the Prime Minister responded to that notion. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. We are offering a long-term solution for the sustainability of social care for the future. Uh, we are ensuring that people, elder people, will not have to worry. Uh, they will be able to ensure that their care, whether it's in the home or for them to go into a home, is being paid for and they won't have to worry about those bills month after month after month and they will have the confidence of knowing that they can pass £100,000 of savings on to their children. Nothing has changed. So that was the Prime Minister saying clearly just an hour or so ago that nothing had changed in the policy. Remember, an absolute limit or cap has now been brought in three days after the policy was developed. And now just listen to what Jeremy Hunt, the Health Secretary, told BBC Radio on Friday about the idea of a cap. What is the alternative? And I think this is the important thing, because I know you had Sir Andrew Dilnot on earlier. If you have that cap that was his proposal, um, if you have that well, cap, excuse me, it was your proposal is... in your last manifesto. Yes. You promised to implement it. You passed a law to implement it. You then said, oh, well, let's delay it a few years. So, so let's not slough it off to uh, Andrew no, no, Dilnot. No, this not, was a Tory manifesto not. promise. 
Yes, and we couldn't be being clearer but you're dropping. because we yes, and not only are we dropping it, but we are dropping it ahead of a general election, and we're being completely explicit in our manifesto that we're dropping it, and we're dropping it because we've looked again at this proposal, and we don't think it's fair. Oh. Uh, Sir Andrew Dilnot was mentioned there. We're going to be talking to Sir Andrew Dilnot a little later this hour, actually. Uh, if I was leaving the numbers to one side, can you remember seeing, since becoming Prime Minister, Theresa May in public this tetchy? No, she did look pretty rattled, it has to be said. She's had to deal with U-turns before, most famously on that budget over national insurance, but she could have excused that as working with the mandate that was not directly hers. It was the mandate of David Cameron and George Osborne. They put in various gimmicks. On this occasion, this is, not, this is her policy, and it's the, in particular, it's the policy of her closest advisers. And the very specific point here is how much was this policy circulated around even narrow conservative circles around the cabinet, around the MPs that would have to sell this on the doorstep in the key target constituencies. Remember just two years ago, the Conservatives pulled off that shock majority from uh, assiduously targeting policies at the swing seat voters, turning those Lib Dem super majorities into conservative uh, majorities by using data. Uh, was this policy even tested? I'll tell you what, it was tested over the weekend. Labour printed uh, sharpish um, leaflets uh, within two days uh, decrying uh, the Conservatives lead. This is the other thing, it's the lead policy from their manifesto and they've had to at the very least clarify it on the issue of the cap pretty clearly from having heard Jeremy Hunt there you can see that this is a stonking great U-turn.